Well, AIM stands for Art in Motion, you know, and uh, I actually, the whole concept came about back in 1971 at the, when I was going to Chicago Academy of Art. And um, uh, I, I don't know why, but I wanted to create a billboard that was different from this, just flat billboard. And of course, we didn't have a moving pictures at that time, or, you know, the video screens up on the, you know, uh, flashing lights. And so um, that was one of the projects I was working on. And, and on the way home from, uh, to my apartment, I was passing by John Hancock building uh, on Michigan Avenue there. And they had a barricade up for the construction. And this was the first time I'd seen a barricade on a construction site where design was accordion forward. So when I walked northward, I had one set of advertising message. When I turned around and looked the other way, it had a, not, so it was like dual image on the same set of a plane of space, you know. And at, right at that time, uh, I had a professor who introduced this uh, American genius named Buckminster Fuller, who's created geodesic domes and all that, you know. And so I really got into his theories of creating all these polygon shapes and three-dimensional. And as a you know, graphics major, I start putting color shapes and images and stuff onto those triangular planes. And so that is what the, how this whole thing came about. And I call it Art in Motion because it moves, and that's what the acronym AIM stands for.